Following in the footsteps of puppets who came before, President Donald Trump is now pushing for further entanglements in foreign wars. We're making a decision as to what we do with respect to the horrible attack that was made near Damascus. And it will be met, and it will be met forcefully. But the same establishment that wants you to believe they're concerned with accountability and the welfare of humanity has been lying for decades to justify indiscriminate violence. They lied about Vietnam in the 1960s. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. They lied about Iraq in the 1990s after helping Saddam rise to power. I saw the Iraqi soldiers come into the hospital with guns. They took the babies out of the incubators. They lied about Iraq in the 2000s. There is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. There is no doubt that he is amassing them to use them against our friends, against our allies, and against us. I take the fact that he develops weapons of mass destruction very seriously. They lied about wanting to protect civilians in Libya in 2011. Left unchecked, we have every reason to believe that Gaddafi would commit atrocities against his people. Many thousands could die. A humanitarian crisis would ensue. In truth, they'd been planning regime change all along. They're lying about wanting to protect civilians in Syria, where they routinely kill civilians. We have reached the moment when the world must see justice done. They've been trying to undermine the Assad regime for decades, and the current administration has already expressed its desire to see him go. There's not any sort of option where a political solution is going to happen with Assad at the head of the regime. They're also failing to present adequate evidence Assad attacked Syrian civilians with chemical weapons in the cases they're alleging. For the sake of argument, though, let's just assume for a moment that the claims and narratives pushed by politicians and institutions that repeatedly prove themselves dishonest and corrupt are actually true. U.S. policy in Iraq, for example, led to the deaths of countless innocent people, including children, and the growth of ISIS, whose ideology is aligned with that of a U.S. ally. In Libya, the country is overrun by multiple multiple terror factions, and literally has a thriving slave trade. In Afghanistan, the Taliban continues to dominate despite multiple troop surges over 17 years of conflict. Even Trump supporters, who otherwise unwaveringly defend him, can see a military strike is a terrible move. So if you're still buying into the belief that this is about protecting human life, even though Trump's bombs have killed thousands of civilians after his little more than a year in office, think again. If you're simply indifferent or complacent towards these wars, and more concerned with a porn star and the president's attorney, you've been effectively programmed into passively supporting the true threat, which is far greater than Donald Trump, the U.S. war machine, the powerful special interests that drive it, and of course you, the American who doesn't bat an eye while their tax dollars fund ineffective, brutal violence. How many times are we going to keep falling for this while expecting a different outcome? There are insidious people and powers ruling the U.S. government that have no respect or concern for human life. And if they did, they'd start by attacking their own institutions.